Hey, good morning, and I am shooting on location in St. Paul's, Grenada. We've been here for the past couple of days, uh, giving assistance to the Grenada District of the Pentecostal Assemblies of the West Indies District Conference. Um, it ended uh, on Thursday, and we're just waiting for our flight now, but definitely we'll be getting to the beach. I hope, I hope you've been having a great week, and I hope you continue to pray for my family as we walk through our own difficult challenges and you know what I'm talking about. I hope you stay with us in prayer because we're staying with you in prayer. But let's just let's get right into our devotion for this week. I'm looking at the book of John, the gospel according to John chapter 19 and verse 30. And for this week, we're just going to be looking at a few words. It says in that verse, when Jesus had tasted of the, um, of the wine, he said, it is finished. And I want to look at those three words, it is finished. Because every time those words are spoken, it speaks of purpose, it speaks of destiny. Jesus started his ministry by saying, you know what guys, um, I'm here to heal the sick, to raise the dead. No, he said he came to set people free. But not only that, he came to ensure that they remain free. Because when he was praying early in the book of John, he said, those that you have given me, I have lost none. It is finished. Speaks about a life of purpose, a life of destiny. And today, I hope you realize that you have a purpose and there is a destiny for you. And you must purpose to walk through the very stages of your growth and development as you reach the place of destiny. Yes, it is finished only when it is completed. So God, thanks today. I pray that these who are listening will wake up today with a brand new uh, impetus, motivation, desire to finish your will. We thank you for it. In Jesus' name. Amen.